Oi, oi, hey up, all right, how do? Hello, hello. Look who's back again. Can't get really rid of him now. He's been in one vlog, he wants to be in them all. Today, we are, well, first of all, if you don't know who we are, welcome to Danny and Jamie. That's not Danny. This is my brother, Ben. I'm Jamie. So today we are Jamie and Ben. Welcome. And today we are, right, if you haven't guessed by some of the background you can see, we're at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It is the 16th of October, Saturday 16th. So we're here for a full day at the Pleasure Beach. And then we've also tonight got the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Friday nights, the journey to hell booked as well at 8.30 through till 10 o'clock. So we're here a full, full day right through. Ben's not been to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in what, 10 years you were I, saying? I, I'm not even joking. It's probably eight to 10 years when I last come. It was the first time I actually got, you know, me and my wife got together. So that was many years ago. So, lots of new rides for Ben today, including Icon, which he's never been on before, which is very exciting. Nope. Lots of my favourite rides, as you know, and I can try and get another Icon cap as well today, because if you've seen the Thor Park with me and Danny, where that hat mysteriously went missing, time to replace the hat today. So today, we're now going to head to Icon first. Normally, you know me and Dan will do a few of the smaller rides, the Ice Blast, the Rockets, Alice in Wonderland, all that kind of stuff. But we're going to go this time, big one's been testing, so we're gonna go do Icon, the big one, get some big rides out of the way. So let's get a few rides and see what happens to the excited. I'm very excited actually, it's been years. And for, uh, for Danny, today. we'll have to get some donuts in for him as oh, well. Yeah. Donut I'll, Danny. I'll, I'll do Danny's donut review today, all right? So, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see where we go. First ride of the day is gonna be Icon, the queue is relatively small i reckon with 10 minute wait max I'm very excited for this people are loading onto it already oh here it goes what time are we on yeah. first ride over it's only quarter past 10 park opens at 10 ride open 10 30 so quarter past 10 and people are loading we're gonna be in for a good day get your first impression of it now you'll see it launching five minutes this and we'll be on station what's cool to know that Ben was like, oh, I'd love to get a front row so like, oh, I don't know if you can because like they tell you where to sit not anymore there is now a separate queue for front row so there's only one two three four five six people in front of us it's only three trains we've only waited ten minutes so first front row. time icon front row couldn't be after and then we're gonna come back around later I'm gonna get him on a back row hopefully and we're gonna come around again later on with the front line oh for journey to hell yeah, yeah. but no spoilers for that we'll tell you about that later uh, <laughs> So let's go and ride Icon. Can't wait to see your reaction. My favourite roller coaster in the UK. Ah! <laughs> well, we'll give you our review in a minute, but we've just done a front row ride and we're coming back round again because where's the queue? We're not complaining, so we're now going to go get a back row ride, back to back, two rides on Icon because it's a Saturday and there is no queue. Happy days. Joking, right? Well, we'll give the review oh, in a minute. Okay, we'll give okay. the review in a minute. <laughs> Let's see what, what you threw a back, okay. if we can get a back or as near to the back as possible, and then we'll compare. Did you know? It's there and then up into the station. You don't know cattle bend nothing. Sorry, we were just discussing the big one queue. Right, <laughs> we've just had two rides on Icon, one front row, one back row. The queue is straight to the station. Like, we could have gone round again, it's unbelievably Literally quiet. Like two trains and then you're it's on. It's a Saturday, it's quarter to 11, big one. 10 to 11, and there's no queue, big one queue. It's straight to the bottom ramp of the station. Look, he was walking straight into the... It's so quiet. So anyway, enough of that. What did you make of Icon? You know my thoughts already, I love it. I'm a back row enthusiast for it, incredible. But over to you. I tell you what, when you chase that it's the best one in the UK to the roller coasters, 
he isn't lying. I will 100% back that up. It is a really, really good ride. Uh, front and back row. If you had to pick between the two and say to you which one to go for, go back row. Really, really good. Air time's unbelievable on it, and it's just it's just a great roller coaster, isn't it? There we go. So two rides, one front row, one back row. The queue straight to the station, that big one. Straight down the side of the old Pepsi Max cans. So we're gonna be up, up the bridge into the station. 20 minutes. Hopefully. Yeah. Shouldn't be too long, so. Happy days, we're gonna try for a back row for this one as well. Get whipped over that first drop and oh what a day, what a start. <laughs> Update as well, after we came out of Icon, I went to the Icon shop to try and get a new Icon cap, you know, because the whole Thorpe Park thing, when it went missing. Went to the shop, they've got the Icon red caps, they've got the black caps with the floral writing, they've got no black caps with the black plain embroidery right. I asked the guy at the shop, he was like, it's the most popular one, we're fully out of stock. So he said try the shop under the, um, under the Rockets, which is called Love Hearts and something, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, so we're going to try there later on, and uh, fingers crossed we get one. But if not, I'll have to order one online. But I want to get one while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> We've just come off the big one. It was a 25 minute wait in the end, and we got a back row. It's just pick your own rows, basically. Honestly, so it's, honestly, uh, yeah, there. it's great. It's quite good. We need to go this way. So back row on the big one. Very rattly this time. Very rural, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> it was good. But one, so intense, and you whipped over that first shot. I'm always a back row advocate for this. Because yeah, it's just so intense and incredible. The great thing is, like both these coasts so far, it's such good ride times, you know, They're really, really good. There it goes again now. But now we are going to go on, I don't even know how you get in here. Because I've never done this one before. We are going on Skyforce, the Red Arrows kind of spinning one. Hang on, there's no queue here. I'm walking through the cattle pen like an idiot. Let me go through there. Here we go. Oh. It's a bit easier, isn't it? <laughs> so we're going in the Red Arrows Sky Force where you spin the planes round and round and round and round. As they, uh, as they go. It's one of these, the only ride at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach that I've never ever ridden before. And I've never run it as well. <laughs> well let's see how many spins we can get, if any. There's no real wind today. Excuse the strobing lights, I don't know why that's going on. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Feeling your head like, woo! Well, we're just talking about Skyrush because I got zero revel. I mean, there is no wind in the air, and I think wind helps. Yes, but yes, I got zero. I was hanging upside down for it because I was in front of bed. I was hanging upside down on everything going, and it's upside down, but I just couldn't turn it back up. So I ended up just hanging upside down for a lot of it. But apparently, Ben behind me said he got. Well, you tell I'm him. I, once I got it going, yeah, I was teetering on the edge of it, and as soon as it got once, that was it. Then I was in a barrel. And I had, to, I had to stop after about 10, 12 revolutions. I got a frog the head, was like, oh my God, I'm gonna knock myself out here. Professional. <laughs> I know. So I was just hanging upside down for it. Like every time we went round, I'd flip all the other way, and I was upside down going up. And I flipped the other way, and I was upside down. I just couldn't get back round. But then here was uh, going round and round and round. It's good fun, it's all right. Upside down, you're turning me. Da -da 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 upside down. Right, we're now gonna go and have a wee wee, have a tinkle. Um, and then we're gonna go and, we don't know yet, have a walk around because it's so quiet. I say yeah. we walk straight on to Skyrush, two rides back to back on Icon, 25 minutes to the big one. Here tonight is the Chinese hedge maze that's dressed up in all its finest BM bargains, bin bags, <laughs> and cobwebs. <laughs> so that should be exciting tonight. Blackpool Pleasure Beach presents BM bargains. Hey, don't judge night. it until we've done it, yeah? I don't know, I'm not sure it'll be it'll, fantastic. It'll look different than the dark. It will. <laughs> you can't see it. So what we're going to maybe do is head on the next streak around the Chinese puzzle maze and see if we can see anything. Um, but we don't know. Have why, a tinkle. Why do they keep the zombies? Do they keep them in there and go um, in the day or what? No idea. And uh, let's see where we go. Right. Well, we've now joined the queue for Infusion. If you've seen the other Blackpool vlogs, which I'm sure a lot of you have, and you'll know my opinion on it, I could really <laughs> give this ride a miss every visit I come to Blackpool. But it's one of them that I haven't rode in years of coming just because it's so rough and boxy. I'll ride it once in the season, you know, give it a go. But you, you enjoy it, don't you? you I enjoy you it. Think? It's a good ride. Wait until it's come off it, uh, it changes opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go for a ride in Infusion and then we'll see you in a little bit.
we've just ridden, well, Infusion first, we did that. We were front row for Infusion to try and make it a little bit smoother, or as smooth as possible. Yeah. Still, that blah, 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 <laughs> I, it's just sort of hate it. It's it just, wasn't that bad, lad. My ears are cold, it's a cold day, my ears are sore already, and then blah, 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 and Mike Tyson comes in and belts us <laughs> 17 times. Not a fun ride, it's not enjoyable. It was fun to sit next to him and watch him all the way around. Ate it, ate it. Uh, but then we just had a big dipper because the queue was like five minutes, there was no queue. Uh, so we did Big Dipper. That's great. Hilarious fun, ride, so fun, such a classic old wooder. Uh, and we were towards the back, like three seats from the back. Uh, we were on a non-wheel seat as well, which was good, so it wasn't yeah, it was nice as rough. smooth, but the people two seats in front of us, they were all over the shop, weren't they? Oh uh, yeah, so it was really smooth. I got the best air time of my life off the first drop. I thought I was a gun, I had my hands up. But off the drop, basically stood up. I was like, ah, grabbed the, on. The whole bar just went up. Uh, like, yeah. Didn't release I like, go up, but had a bit of give in it. So I thought I was a gunner. Um, but I think actually, well, wait, should we have a go on River Caves now? Because I know this is part of the journey to hell tonight. And I'm interested to see what the difference is between the normal ride now and yeah. the journey to hell ride. River Caves it is. I mean, again, there's one, two, three, four, five, seven people in the Come queue. On, so we'll go River Caves, and then later on, when it's the journey to hell, we can notice the difference and see how it compares. So let's go through the tunnel of love with me, brother. Oh. Oh. It's the first thing you go through, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Arnold Swartz think it's coming out. Of that. <laughs> got to go through the tunnel of love. <laughs> River Caves, nice. Looks like they've done a bit of work in there from what I last remember. No uh, like holes in the set, all the animatronics <laughs> seem to be working, so good ride. A little light sprinkle on the, the drop the of the The guy was like, yeah, both of you at the front, please. Like, oh, no. He's a little light sprinkle on his hoodie, so nothing too bad. But I had a look on the app, and I saw it said impossible five minutes. Now, this has been closed for yonks. I remember doing this as a kid, like when we used to come as kids yeah, with yeah. our nan and granddad. And if I remember right, I think there's a ride like that spins around the dining table at the end of like Ghost or Summer. You've got a better memory than me, lad. I really can't remember, but it is open. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. I'm so excited for this. It's proper throwback. If they get Noah's art back up and running, then I'd be well buzzing. But for this, I've not remembered this for years since being little kids. So I'm so excited. Watch it in now. But so excited. <laughs> on this one. Three seconds later. <laughs> right, we've been in there for 30 seconds. Well, there is a bit of a mirror maze, and then it's just a few like little challenges. Like, oh, look at this optical illusion, look at this optical illusion. The ride's closed in there. So there was a ride, because it says take a seat, wait yeah. for the ride, but it's got a barrier across it saying closed. Um, but the impossible wasn't so impossible. No. Really. I mean, we nailed the mirror maze first time, didn't we? Yeah, we're straight through, no, no trouble. Um, but I remember being so much better as a kid. And the ride That's and things, but she's probably six years old. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a throwback. It's a throwback. So we're now down at the front of the park. Uh, Grand National at the minute is closed. It says not operational today. But it says that for steeplechase and that's up and running. Um, so I think we're gonna maybe go the ice blast, something like that. Maybe stop for some lunch. Maybe have a drink. I'm very hungry. Right um, now. You're hungry. We'll, we'll get some hungry. lunch then, uh, and then we'll see you when we've got a bite to eat and a drink come to sit in the hub now then well it's quite nice it's mild now there's no wind or anything so blue skies are trying to come out it's quite nice isn't it it's all right yeah it's we've good. gone for a bratwurst with onions and chips 650 uh, that came to and i've got a little budweiser as well um ben's gone for again bratwurst with onions and chips 650 i think it came to like 20 quid in total it was 20 quid something yeah. like that um so, happy days, we're gonna have these. It's only at one o'clock, I think. Something like that, 20 past one. And uh, have these and see where we kind of end up, what, what goes on, but are you enjoying your day so far? I'm enjoying it, yeah. For a good. Saturday. On all the big rides, I'll be straight away, to be honest, and now we're gonna just uh, chill and make our way around and, you know. For a Saturday, I'm so surprised at how quiet it was, because Ben was saying it's the first weekend of uh, school holidays. Yeah, school holidays starting now. Yeah, school yeah. Which I didn't know, but, um, Everything's 20 minutes wait max, really. Apart from infusion was a bit longer, but still not, not really bad. So we're going to do Ice Blast, Wallace and Gromit, one of my favourites, we'll do that. Ghost Train maybe as well, and, uh, and all that stuff. Wallace and Gromit wasn't operating before, we'll have to wait and see. I looked on the app before and it said 20 minutes. All right, so then. I think it's back up and running. Um, oh, we'll have some food now, and uh, then we'll, we'll come back to you. <laughs> 
very tranquil. There's the big one. I say that very tranquil, it's screaming people. Ah! <laughs> it is a very relaxed, isn't it? Nice and you know, quiet here in the hall. Nice it's, though, isn't it? As, well? as it's not cold, there's no wind. It's, it's nice. It's, it, I won't go as far as it's not cold. It's okay. It's mild. Cold, it's yeah. mild. Um, but no, I'm very calm, very tranquil, very uh, relaxed, I guess. I don't know. We've had a good morning. Nice little bottle of Budweiser and a uh, big hot dog. Hot dog was nice, wasn't it? It was alright. Bit of a peppery yeah. flavour to it. It was nice. It was nice. Um, Could have done with a little fork. Could have <laughs> done with a fork chips. for the chips. Um, <laughs> it's all fingers and thumbs, but there we go. Um, Where are we going next then? I don't actually know. I feel like this is like a very tranquil section of the vlog. You normally used to me going, going wild, going mad, shouting and that. I feel very, very calm. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Again, chatting rubbish. Well, this um, ice blast is just over yonder. We've also got Alice in Wonderland's over there, the Derby Racers is over there, the horses. Um, Ghost Train's next to us, Wallace and Gromit. Uh, I also want to do a go and kiss me quick under the under the rockets. No, fact, you're all right. No, you're okay. <laughs> That's the shop that I couldn't remember the name of earlier. Oh. Um, to see if they do have the icon cap because I do need a new one, as you know. Um, so I'm looking there, and yeah, we're a couple more rides on icon as well. Be good and avalanche. We've not done. We're gonna do avalanche. Oh, yeah. I'll do the big one again. I enjoyed that. that big one again. Map. So, what time is it now? Coming to two o'clock. Quarter to two. So we've got till 6 p.m. tonight for the actual rides, and then we're back in at 8.30 for Journey to Hell. So I'll probably go to Weatherspoons or some of the roller coaster, Velvet Coaster, Weatherspoons around the corner for some tea uh, before we do Journey to Hell later on. But more on that later. Now then, let's uh, go and do some rides. <laughs> From the Hub and Hot Dogs to Rockets. I don't like this. I can do the biggest rides in the world, honestly, roller coasters, you name it. But stuff like this, I really don't like. The this, this and the waltzes, you know, just stuff like this. I just, oh no, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> the waltzes are you know, I don't do spinning like yeah, concerts. Yeah. But this isn't too bad because you're going yeah, forward. Uh, there I am on the red arrows going 100 mile an hour barrel oh. rolling. <laughs> flying machines, it's called. They're sent at the flying machine. So, time to get a bit chilly because even when it's a nice sunny day, it's a bit cool. This. So we're in the front of our rocket, we're going to get loaded up with a few more people now and we'll see you after we've done the flying machines. Get a look at Valhalla over there, oh, the reverb. Yeah, ben with his quality content he wants me to show you. <laughs> Keeping the viewers, you know, all up to date on what's going on around oh, the world. Oh god, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> After the flying machines, we've just had a classic ride on the Derby races, the horses, and I won. My horse came first. <laughs> I was whipping it a little bit though with the you with were, the rain. You're getting right inside that whipping, weren't you? Right, <laughs> something else. Or, you well, know, says a lot. Mm. That's a different side of it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are now. Uh, Alice is Wonderland. We're gonna have a, a ride. Now. It's another classic, 1962, built here at the Pleasure Beach. So. Oh, it's, um, I enjoyed that really good. And now you, you said to me that this has got a bit of like a different theming for it, hasn't it? Well, when you go inside, you kind of get the Child in the Chocolate Factory's music of I've got a golden ticket. Then you see Humpty Dumpty. Then there's like a few weird things. Plus, it goes about 500 miles an hour when he's trying to read a story. It's like once upon a time. And before you know, it's gone. So, but it's a classic. It's fun. It's a nice ride. Yeah, 1962. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> We're going through the rabbit hole then. Spell bomb as well. I don't know how much you'll see, if anything. It's very dark. You see, I've got a golden ticket playing in background. I do love it though, it's such a classic. There she is with a big sauce of in a flamingo. I'm going to flip it all the between her legs. I've got a golden ticket. Queen of Hearts, I met her in Disneyland. Just in the other vlogs. Go back and have a look. She was actually. 
actually very nice in person. Oh, time. One of my all-time favourites, Wallace and Gromit. Oh, and look who's in here. Gromit himself. Hey, Gromit. <laughs> Wallace is in here as well. Hey, Wallace. How are you, buddy? Happy days. Mmm, <laughs> cracking jeans, Gromit. <laughs> there we go, Wallace and Gromit. Oh, it's very busy in here. Oh, it's very busy. This is a... Believe it. Yeah, you're a good 40 minutes in there. That was right to the door. You're a good 40 minute wait for that. And I love it, but not that it's much. so cracking. Mmm, <laughs> cracking chings, Gromit. Where's the Wensleydale, lad? Oh, you're doing your run there, lad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just what Wallace does. <laughs> anyway, as you were. We're going to have a mooch around now. We'll maybe go on the train. We've still got um, avalanche to do. Potentially revolution if the queue's not big. Um, we're not really fussed about queuing for that again, just for one loop de loop. Not some theme in. Is it called a loop de loop? Or is it just a loop? Because it's just one I don't know, a loop or a loop de loop? I don't know. But if it is a loop de loop, you go twice. Would it not be? No, that would be a loop de loop de loop. Oh, right, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but the crows are coming out now as well for. Uh, things let's go down here let's uh i don't know towards the train maybe have a ride on the pleasure beach express through all the different uh, roller coasters and everything else i don't know what i said to get to that point one minute we're with wallace and gromit and now we're here so it is what it is it is what it is i think they should be what well, i think they come every 15 minutes don't they every 20 minutes so i don't know it is again it is what it is <laughs> Oh, how will I get away with putting this stuff out on the internet? I've no idea. We're on the Pleasure Beach Express now. Back row riding. Woohoo! Getting whipped over those hills. <laughs> There's about 500 seats in front of us where everyone else went and sat at the front. But we were at the front of the queue and he was like, yes, please. So we walked down to the end to find your room, innit? <laughs> make room for everyone else who's yeah, waiting. make room for everybody else. I'll tell you what, though, what is really good is the commentary, like at the station while you're waiting for the train. Yeah, well, please, the intercom note, plane. please note the first seat is not available unless you can drive the train. Thank you. <laughs> If you have lost some children, please come and collect them because I refuse to look after them any longer. Thank you. <laughs> it's just quite <laughs> funny. Quite yeah, they're all right. The third class seating is at the front, middle and rear of the train. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just quite funny uh, listening to them. So, right, we're going to go and have a uh, ride on Pleasure Beach Express, see all the different rides, coasters, go through it all. I love this ride. It's just nice to remember. What a after lunch, we just had a quite relaxed ride, yeah, haven't we? Done a rocket, flying machines, horses, derby races, Alice. Alice in Wonderland, the train, and then we can go hit some more adrenaline stuff. Ready to get us in the mood for Journey to Hell. That's Twilight Zone, isn't it? Right, we're off. <laughs> hey, it's bits like these now, the train that I love when you come. But close to the Big Dipper, right through Infusion, through Icon either side of you. Big one there, you know. They're all the rides that you just don't get past the sea. It'd be good if any of them were going. Everything seems to come to a stop. Hello. Yeah. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Can hear screaming. Oh. It's like Can't see where from. It's like going through the Dragon's Lair, and you know, you're waiting for them to wake up. And what's going on? There's the Big Dipper. I give them a wave, I don't think anybody Nobody waved back. Nobody waved! <laughs> yeah. They're too busy holding off in here. Life ejector air time there. There's Icon as well. Would have been great to see this coming back. Oh, oh right above us. What are you saying? It'd have been uh, great, no, It'd have no, been great right. to see Icon go past there. Whoa. Right next to us over the top. Uh, it's just yeah, such good angles of everything. Again, big dipper there. <laughs> yeah, the man in the front waves. We've got two waves. Three waves, three waves. I'm having that. <laughs> so 
it's not Mexican, is it? Watch this way! Oh, the train's going! Whoa! Oh, train! Confusion <laughs> there. Like the angle that you see rides at is just so cool. I love the Pleasure Beach Express. You can't just get anything like this at other parks. No, like... you don't actually, do you? Right, we're going to enjoy our ride, go through a few little theming bits now, a couple of dinosaurs and other bits and bobs and uh, yeah, then we're going to come back up here and do the big one, do Icon again, maybe get an avalanche, steeple yeah, chase. The big one, the hill, yeah, like a cute hill, didn't well, When we know? drove past it then, we, uh, there he goes, when we went past the big one then, the queue was right up the ramp going into the station, so uh, yeah, not a big queue at all, so we'll see what happens where we get, but for a Saturday, for the first week of school right, holidays, I'm a happy boy! <laughs> there we go, a bit of theming now. Cougars. I didn't know there was a zoo here. Yeah, Blackpool Zoo. Here we go, free entry. <laughs> go on the train, go through Blackpool Zoo. That little looks a bit the worst for wear. <laughs> There's the big one. Oh yeah, big one behind us, about to go down the big drop. In a set, won't it? It'll appear somewhere around here. This is towards the middle of the trap, just before the trim breaks here. So I don't know. It might appear somewhere. Uh, I just love it. It's actually very good. Right the, you, you get a proper like you know back behind the scenes tour in a way. Uh, the big blue hotel where me and Danny stayed. Are you guys coming there on uh, one night when we came for one of our birthdays or something? We stayed there at one point anyway for for a night. Very good hotel to be fair, very nice rooms. I think we might be seeing the big one at some point. Come here. You can hear him. Awesome. Can't recommend it enough, a nice little ride on the uh, Pleasure Beach Express. From what I remember though, I think the Pleasure Beach Express used to run the other way to what we're going. I'm pretty sure when you come through some of these scenes, if we look at the walls behind us, I'm pretty sure it says like entering Lost Kingdom, entering this, entering that. Because right. I think it used to run this way and for whatever reason they turned it around. Um, I don't know. I'll have a look when we come past this wall in a minute we'll see if we see anything. Come on the on the Pleasure Beach Express, you're not gonna see it. That line looks a bit questioning, doesn't it? Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> don't you ask here? any questions. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> don't ask a question if you don't want the answer. The monkey's looking at him now, he's going, I see ya, I see ya. <laughs> oh the liver got the shades on. Oh yeah, someone's put some glasses on it. Jumped off and put glasses on. Right, if we turn backwards in a minute, we come through it, I'm pretty sure it says like entering Lost Kingdom because it used to run the other way. Let's just see. Nope, not that oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, on Safari. Oh. So I think it used to enter these the different places. Because then obviously we went through past the Jeep and the zebras and the lions and everything there. And then this one will say something about dinosaurs or something, I think. Let's have a look if this one says anything. Not there, no, but no, I did say on safari that way. So, oh, hello. Oh, I mean, look Hi, how mate. Close you get to the big one. Like, here. We were just saying, though, because we're doing Journey to Hell tonight, yes. we know a few rides are included. River uh, Caves are included, um, Ghost Train, the big one, and Icon. We thought this, the Pleasure Beach Express, would be such a good ride to have involved in it. I mean, we don't know what kind of goal was on at Journey to Hell. But this could be such good to cover axes yeah, around here in all different spaces. Yeah, you could ride nice and so crawling through hell and and all that with actors coming out. Uh, this could have been a good addition. It's a big old thing to do. Though. We'll have to talk about that once we've done Journey to Hell and see what we what we think of it. If it was perfect as is or if there's anything else. But we're coming back now. We've completed our trip on the train. What time was that? So it's a 20 minute ride. 
20 minutes, nice round, but it doesn't take, feel long, does minutes. it? Yeah, yeah. God. So, a nice slow pace, taking it all in. I can't recommend it enough, it's just a nice way to chill out and see all the behind the scenes bits and. Yeah, you do get the viewer around to go. All bits and bobs, innit? So, right, a bit of adrenaline now, though. Yeah, yeah. icon, big one, yeah. Something big, avalanche or steeple chase or ice blast. Something, what's going there? Revolution! Oh, a cheeky round on the avalanche there. Do you know what, actually? I was not bothered about it here, but then when you got on it, you were shouting from behind me, weren't you? Because it was in two separate trains. Yeah. Creeps up on you this, lad. And uh, quicker he, than you it, think. He, go, he goes at some pace, I'll give you that. Yeah, quicker than you think, you know, it creeps up on you. Uh, so a nice enjoyable ride, but now we are going to go back to the big one. Icon's got a bit of a queue coming out like the door, hasn't it really? Like, you know, yeah, not road. too bad, I reckon it'd only still be 35, 40 minutes, I reckon. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and have another bit. We've done two on that, so we're going to have the second ride on the big one. before when we come past on the train, but... Um, I don't think it will be now. What time are we on now? You, anyway, have a look how far in the day are we? 20 past three, so we've got another, just under three hours okay, left. So we'll see how the night progresses. Sorry, thank you. And uh, we'll see how the night progresses now. And then of course we're back later anyway for Journey to Hell. So we might start seeing a few actors creeping about soon. I think the werewolf might be coming out at some point. It's like a nine foot werewolf or something that walks around. But if not, I'm sure we'll see him later tonight. It, yeah, the queue is to the bottom of the ramp. So we're not even, we're going past the Pepsi cans and we're to the bottom of the ramp on it. So I reckon 15, 20 minutes, max, max 20 minutes. Pepsi max 20 minutes, Durumch. But yeah. <laughs> and then we might have a couple of donuts and do a little oh, Danny, yeah, donut Danny, Danny Donut review. Danny Donut review, yeah. Without him. Well, I think the last time we checked in was after the avalanche. I think it was. It could be, Sounds yeah. about right, doesn't it? So all we've done after that is re-ride, re-ride, re-rides of the big one because the big one's queue is still, as you can see, only not even halfway down the ramp before the station. So it's 10 minutes. So we've had a back row, a front row, and another back row. Yeah, you did the front row for the first time. Yeah, first ever time on the front row because, again, there was no queue for it, so we went to it, thought we'll do it. And uh, you know what? It's all right. You get but a really good view, that's the difference. You get a good view and you get pushed, you feel the train yeah, yeah, pushing every, you. Every dip, isn't it? Every dip, you feel like you're getting boosted. But really I still, I'm still a back row rider. It hasn't swayed me. You like me. it from the back, don't you, apparently? Still getting whipped over. I'm not taking you on. Still getting <laughs> whipped over those drops, whipped over the hills. A bit of air time out of it and things. Can you guess where we're going now by the looks of the camera? I'm knackered. We're, uh, we're heading up to Revolution. I mean, it's only like, you know, a one drop thing, but there's no use, so we may as well do it. Yeah, we might have come with Danny and things as you've seen in the past. We never really bother with Revolution because it's like a one loop wonder. Uh, but, yeah, oh, we're getting a good view. Scare maze oh, yeah, this is where we're going in tonight in the Chinese puzzle maze. See some cobwebs? And that's about it. Yeah. Take a feather duster with us, we'll be all right. So we're almost at the top, we're at the top now, so I'll look at the view to be fair, I've not been up here in ages. That's a great one of Icon there, yeah. yeah. Icon going round, big one going round. Steeple chase going. That's what I love, the UK's most ride intensive amusement park. Just ride on top of ride on top of ride, everywhere you look. There's three or four roller coasters in shot at all times, Big Dipper's just gone. Avalanche. Big one. It's everywhere, isn't it? It is. It is. And there's the quality view. Oh well, yeah, we're going to go on the revolution, and we'll see you back at the bottom of all these stairs. I feel like we're on a water slide, isn't it? <laughs> Up all the stairs at the water slide. See a bit of sunshine now. My shorts on. Happy days. We're on holiday. <laughs> have just experienced the 360 degree loop forwards and backwards the no, most actually it was the most exciting you ride are about of your to experience life. the most exciting ride of your life i don't know why he talks like this but that's what he sounds like More exciting yeah. isn't it? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen 
So we've just done Revolution there. Speaking of which, there it is. The loop in all its glory. It's all right, isn't it? I say, it's for the queue that we had, which was zero. Yeah, literally one train in and one train out, you know. That was uh, it. Straight up to the platform. It's happy days, but I wouldn't ever queue for it. Like, well, as you know. So uh, we're now going to head to the front of the park because we're going to go and do... No, we're going to see Wallace and Gromit on the way past. Well, maybe do Wallace and Gromit. Depending on what the queue, if it's died down now. But we're heading towards the front to do uh, Ice Blast. Because it's 20 past four now. Any later, five, six o'clock, then it's going to get quite busy with everyone leaving. They all kind of do Ice Blast on the way out. So we might hit it now and we'll see. There's the Wheel of Death. No doubt we'll be seeing that later tonight as part of Journey to Hell. Haven't seen the werewolf walking around anywhere yet though. A bit early for a werewolf. Yeah, the moon's not out, that is true. Um, but if we see anything more exciting now, on the way, Halloween themed, uh, as it's starting to get a little bit darker, the sun's starting to now set, and uh, we'll see what goes bump in the night. Uh, we've just come across a big hanging body bag. Bags of blood. These were here before, I don't think. Maybe they've been hung up now. Or oh, there's some kind of Halloween tunnel there as well, which potentially we might be visiting later on. Scarecrows at the top. Oh yeah, the scarecrows are up there, hanging over the edge. So it's all starting to become a little bit more Halloweenified, journey to hellified. You excited for it? Do you know what? I've never done one of these uh, scare maze or horror festivals or anything. So this is my first time doing it. So I'm, I am a little bit nervous. The only thing I've ever done is that one outside the park. What's that? Paso del Terra. Yeah, I've done that like many years ago again. But yeah, it should be good. This I'm excited. Yeah, I really am. Yeah, I did Thorpe Park a few years uh, last year. I did Alton Towers a couple of years ago. Um, the scariest thing I see is when I get up in the morning mirror. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, spooky World in Warrington. I did that. The last time it was on just before Covid, doing that again next week. It's packed out still. Uh, yeah, it's still out the door. So we're going to wait for Washington Road because it's a good ride, but not a... When you're queuing from the door, you're looking at 40, 45 minutes. So we'll go and do Ice Blast instead. Oh, and uh, got, uh, Nick Jr's Slime Fest on. Yeah, the Slime Fest was on today. Fleur Reese was performing, diversity with dancing. Um, so that looked quite cool. Obviously, it's a separate ticketed event. And we've seen the videos that the Pleasure Beach put on Instagram. Sod getting covered in all that slime. There Buckets of slime just coming down everywhere and yeah, sod that. Look fun but sod it. <laughs> so um, I think it's for kids to be honest, you know. We've got our own event to do tonight. Exactly. So now we're gonna go, yeah, over here to that big tower and get blasted up. <laughs> um, so that's what we've just come off. I'll just put a uh, little video in of what we've just come off. The ice blast. Not as forceful as days gone by, I don't think. I think it's lost a bit you, of force. You prefer the little tiny bombs away at um, Bombs yeah, Park, Park, Park. Angry Birds bomb drop tower it's thing. About, not even half the size of it. Yeah, like but better, don't you? with that, you get like, pulled down and I lost me. You lose your tummy. That. With that, it's shut up, but... I didn't get to, like my tummy didn't turn, I didn't get out air time at my seat. It was just a bit forceless. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. It is what it is. Look like at the big witch here. Uh, so he'll be out tonight. <laughs> Hello my little pretties. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's time for a bit of Danny Donut review. So I'm gonna go to the uh, donut stand on the Kiss Me Quick shop, under the uh, flying machines, and get some donuts. And uh, I don't know how he's going to compare to Danny. You know, I'm by no means going to replace his review here. Hollywood and West End review of Donuts is this. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, let's see how we get on with it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Danny's Donut Review. <laughs> Not involving Danny. <laughs> Some of the conditions apply. <laughs> oh, three donuts for 350 or five for 450. So, of course, we went for five. So. It's roomy introduction there. Ba -ba 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 Donuts to the funny face there. Welcome Boom. to Danny's Donuts of the Week. Without Danny. Instead it's got Ben and Jamie. Or Jamie and Ben. 
Are you alright? I'm hyped for these donuts. This is gonna be the ultimate fresh. Well, they are hot and fresh. They just come straight out, straight out the, the, the fryer. So to start, to I'll smell. Give over. The smell. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, hot. Mm, mm, mm. Coated in sugar. Airy, or what is it that I says? Light, airy on the palate, you know, <laughs> light on the palate. Yeah, very light, very sugary. Hot, bro. Hot, fresh, very nice. Right, it's everything out I of, want. Out of 10. 10. 10 out of 10. Everything I want from a donut. Hot, fresh, sugary. Good value. Oh, oh, but, oh. However, oh. it depends though. Do you want these donuts or do you want the normal icing on them? No, I want these donuts. I don't want an ice there you donut. Go, 10 out of 10. Here we go. And that's the end of Danny's Donuts of the Week. <laughs> is more like it. Wallace and Gromit time now. The queue's not out the door. It's not 40 odd minutes. It's going to be five, six minutes. Much better. One of my favourite rides here of all time. I love Again. it. I love Wallace and Gromit. I love this ride. So good. Nice little dark ride. Go through, see all the different scenes with Wallace and Gromit. And uh, yeah, it's just so much good fun. Love it. You don't know what he's like. I'll wait. I'll wait. He's he's like, oh, yeah. I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> Lovely little ride on there, Wallace and Gromit. It's just so fun, I love it. Love As you it. say, mm, that was cracking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I say that. Do that. Mm, cracking jeans, Gromit. Nah, it was Where's the Wensley Day on lad? <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice little ride, that actually, wasn't it? So I also really well. bought a uh, little souvenir mug. I'll show you later on when we go back to the car. I'll show you what I bought. But a little souvenir because I like my mugs. And I like that ride, I love that ride. I don't know why, I the love Wallace and Gromit. Honestly, you need to buy 10 tea bags to make a cup of tea in this. It does. I'm not even joking. So it's what time now, mate? 20 past five-ish? Quarter past five. Quarter past five, so one more ride on Icon. That's what we're gonna go and do, end our day on Icon. And then back to the car, drop some bits off. Weatherspoons for tea at the Velvet Coast around the corner. And then back here, half eight. For Journey to Hell, Fright Nights. Wow, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Pointer Sisters, insert your own music. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford the license for it. <laughs> Play it on your third pod at home next to the video, be right. And I'll just do this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> YouTube that you can interact with. That's what this is, it's the future. <laughs> anyway, let's go around. Come for one final ride and I'll stop waffling. Here we go. And you can see we're now out of the Pleasure Beach. We've had the full day in there from 10 right through till 6. So you've just seen us do Wallace and Gromit. So the next thing we did then we went back and did Icon and a back row ride on Icon. Then we went and ended the day on the Big Dipper. Uh, again, Right near the back, two rows, three rows from the back. Decides to redo the Big Dipper once he's bought but, you know, a massive mug. Buy a big got to hold on to while you get thrashed about. Buy a big porcelain <laughs> mug. You've got to take your stuff with you. So they're holding this mug, trying to protect it, cradle it. And we're going, we sat on a wheel seat this time as well. So we're going boom, 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 boom into each other. I'm going, no, we're going to protect you. <laughs> like, uh, it's like a challenge, wasn't it? Like, keep the mug safe, don't crack the mug. But we did it. I think we did. Anyway, I haven't looked. Hey, don't do it. Feels in one piece. You are responsible for it, not yeah, me. It feels like it's in one piece. Um, so we're heading out now, we're going to go back to the car, drop the stuff off and things, head to Weatherspoons up the road then, uh, have a bite to eat and a drink and that, and then we're back at the Pleasure Beach tonight at 8.30 for the journey to hell, the Friday Nights Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and that's where there are several mazes, go through the tunnels underneath the Pleasure Beach, through the, um, the garden, the uh, Chinese puzzle maze, uh, all sorts of things involved, four rides involved, uh, but we're not allowed to film at that, I have checked. We're not allowed to take cameras, can't film in there, photography, anything like that. So what we'll do is we will come back to you once we've been and done Journey to Hell and we'll let you know what the whole thing was about. How does that sound? Good, good, we don't have a choice because that's what's happening. <laughs> so, right. Hello. It's about right now. Hey. Hey. There you go. So that's what we're going to do now. That's the plan. And See you in a bit. Yeah, see you after we've 
Well, if we make it back from hell, because so. we are journeying into hell, so I hope we make it back out. Fingers crossed. We have just done the journey to hell. So we're on the road now back home. Uh, well, we're just about to park the, the car park at Pleasure Beach. Um, if you don't want to know what happens in Journey to Hell, then don't watch from this point on because spoilers ahead. Uh, so thank you for watching the rest of the vlog. But if you do want to know what happens in Journey to Hell, then this part's for you. Because we're not, we weren't allowed to film in the experience itself. I got a little bit of footage on my phone outside the event. Uh, and I'll put that in for you now. There was a few scare actors walking around, a guy with a chainsaw with like a pig face, um, a couple of clowns, zombies, nuns. Nine foot wolf wolverine, what do you call it? Big them? wolf walking around and things. So it was good atmosphere getting it going. So we're just outside the Pleasure Beach entrance now at Noah's Ark. I'm not able to bring the GoPro and all that because it's uh, no filming allowed when you're uh, inside. Uh, but I'll try and get bits and pieces here and there. I'm on my phone at the minute, so this is outside. And there's a few actors out and about now. So it's getting going, isn't it? Yeah, you know, this is not allowed to wear costumes. <laughs> Cheeky Sonny. Oh, here. comedian. So I know he said there's a bit of atmosphere going now. Chainsaws, actors dressed up, yeah, vampire good, yeah. zombies. So good start. We'll see what happens, eh? I don't know even know how this is going to sound, if you can hear us on the phone, but we'll see. <laughs> he did grab you. Ben just got grabbed by the whale as he's walking out. He's like, nope. <laughs> he's like, he's he's he could do that. He's like, oh, not a nine foot, wasn't he? There's a few actors down here now, dressed up. And I don't know where we're going, we're just walking. I know, they said just down this one. So, well, so all, we're being led by like a day of the dead kind of person. Evening. This is cool. The smoke coming out of the car. Circus. Welcome to the circus indeed. <laughs> Safe zone ahead. There was, to start off, you go into the hub area and they give you a bit of a briefing and tell you like, no video recording during the event, no photography, do not run, don't touch the actors, blah, 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 all that, just is information on a screen. Um, that just flashes up, you read it, and then it's a case of, right, everybody stand up, turn around, we're evacuating you from the Pleasure Beach, uh, 48 people at a time, and you go straight into the river caves. So we were in the boat with two other girls, uh, they fill the boats up with six people, um, and they give the person in the front of the boat, in this case it was another girl that was in a, in a different group, the two girls sat in front of us, uh, like a hard hat, and just had a light on the front of it like a head torch and all the lights are off inside the river cave so you're going through just via head torch so she's looking around etc and then these actors inside the river caves and they were jumping out and, were rah, and all that kind of thing there was only a say four actors max in there throughout the whole of the river it was caves enough, though, it was nice and eerie the whole way through you expecting it and when mm. you wasn't expecting it you know after it'd been so long that's when they got you. Yeah, there was a one point though where there was two uh, <laughs> actors in there and they were stood in the water part and they just absolutely drenched us, just whoa, threw water all over us. So we got quite wet in there. Um, and then you go through all that. It was quite good though, it was a good setup for it. And as you get out of the boat, you then go straight into like the behind the scenes part of the river caves and that takes you into the tunnels. 
and as you walk through the tunnels, tunnels were quite long again, lights out, flickering lights, a few actors in there, army people and things, um, sniffing you and and kind of saying like, um, oh you smell like rotten meat and all that, the butcher's gonna like you and all this kind of stuff. So you, the, the tunnels were quite good, again four or five actors in that part. Um, there's a couple of jump scares that got us. I was at the front of that as we walked through. So a couple of jump scares got me. <laughs> um, ben was an absolute mess in there, screaming at everything that was going on. Scream. I got a jump a few times, but I wasn't screaming. You were. <laughs> there's a why at the back now? Okay. Why am I at the back? <laughs> so that was quite funny. After we'd done the tunnels, you straight out and then we queued up the uh, up the stairs leading towards the Big Dipper in that. Um, so we queued up there, and then you go into what is the pledge. Now this was the most pointless bit of rubbish ever known. So we were in this queue for like uh, five, ten minutes or so. We had our way up the stairs slowly, and then you go into a room, and he's like, welcome, do you want to see a magic trick? And then the, his assistants stood like chained up against the board. He pulls the curtain around, and then the assistant is out of the chains, and he's in the chains. And that was it and she slit his throat, or pretended to, and then that was it, they were like, right, get out. And it was like, well, you brought us on in, we've queued that long, sat down, and you showed us one farty little magic trick, which was naff, <laughs> and then you're kicking us out. So that was a bit random and whatever, wasn't it? Yeah. We all came out, we were like, what was that about? After you come out of that, you're then straight down to Icon. Uh, but you don't go through the normal queue line, you end up coming through like a back entrance you to ICOM. You go through the Big Dipper, don't you? And yeah, you through and that. underneath the Big Dipper, and then you end up out at ICOM. Uh, ICOM blindfolded ride. Oh my uh, god, that was awesome. That was, yeah, it was absolutely sick. Well worth it for that. Really enjoyed it. Um, like, you just don't know where you are, constantly getting ejector air time, whipped around in your seat. Brilliant, We got brilliant experience. Seconds in front row on that, there was these two fellows in front of us, wasn't they? Yeah. And, uh, we then kind of, we got off the train a little bit quicker than the way did, and then kind of got ahead of the game a little bit, didn't we? From Icon, you go straight to, into the big one, and then for the big one, we went front row. That's a normal ride on the big one. It's just got the lights off, so it's totally like pitch black, apart from the train lights, like the headlights on the front of the, the big one train. Their kind of theme for the big one is, it's like construction. There's a lot of construction tape about ladders and things in the station. And like a dead construction zombie worker. And it's like, it's only broken down four times before. You'll be absolutely fine. Um, so that's the kind of theme they're going with that. Ride on the big one, so quick, super fast, super dark. Again, absolutely brilliant, brilliant ride for that. Then from the big one, you go into the Chinese puzzle maze. Uh, they kind of build you up into a group because we were at the front for that and we had to wait for say about another 10 people and so came and joined behind us and then the theme of the story of that was there was 400 lost souls have entered the maze and have never came out um, so you walk through and it's like a set route there's cur white curtains off at the different parts where you could go through the maze so it's a set route that you walk through and you kind of do like a first loop round to the left. There's a couple of actors kind of boop, jumping out and things like that. And then you go around the second part of the maze. Again, a few actors jump out. And then once you come out the maze, well, <laughs> it was funny as we were coming out the Chinese puzzle maze, and you go a big walk down the back of it. There was like four or five kind of devil people, demons stood there in like a kind of chicane almost. And then behind one of them was the guy with the chainsaw. So as we walked out, he goes, I'm gonna get you. Pulls his chainsaw, stalls it. Pulls the chainsaw again, stalls it. But listen, we're, not, we're just walking, we're just proper chilled walking. Pulls his chainsaw for the third time, <laughs> stalls it again. So we're just laughing our heads off because he can't get, he's like, rrr, rrr. I will get you. He's gone, I'm gonna get you. We're like, anytime today, pal. And we were like just leaving the queue and then finally he gets the chainsaw going and then like the rest of the group behind us oh, they get it. <laughs> got it basically so they all started running out uh, but yeah we were just laughing because we'd already left by the time then we were <laughs> literally about 100 meters ahead of him by the time he got his chainsaw started he put it on the floor in the end didn't it and put his foot on it and was trying to rev it up so yeah that was funny you then walk through the carnival freaks, the clowns, and that's uh, just walking down round the kind of um, past Avalanche uh, through Nickelodeon area. 
past that Avatar Airbender. And there's just a few clowns, again, jumping out at places to stood about and things, pointing the way to go. And you walk up, you end up walking up the staircase, uh, kind of in front of Wallace and Gromit. Uh, and there's a big clown with like a big mallet and hammer. You alright? I'm alright, that's good. Yeah. Oh, another light. Uh, walking up with like a big hammer and he runs out um, and chases you kind of up the stairs. And then as you walk down past the side of Wallace and Gromit, you then go to the ghost train. And that's kind of Day of the Dead theme. It's a bit fun. They dressed up as like the skeletons in the red kind of. Um, I don't know what the outfit's called, but like Day of the Dead kind of outfit. Red and black stripes, wasn't it? And, and they get the limbo going, so we did the limbo under there, then joined the ghost train queue, and the ghost train's just fully normal ghost train, no extra actors or anything in there. So, then you can enter the hub to um, to have like a few drinks, and they say, I like, open till late for drinks and, and party kind of thing. They had some music playing beers flowing etc but we haven't stayed for that obviously we just then got back on the road because we're driving back home so overall it was uh we joined at half eight and we came out at 10 to 10 the whole experience so what's that bang uh, on time wasn't it hour and 20 minutes mm -hmm. so they advertise it as a 90 minute experience but yeah we're right. hour and 20 so it's about right um so yeah the overall experience it wasn't don't go if you're looking for scares it's not a scare kind of scare mazes and all that you go for the rides i would say mainly the river caves was all right um, had a few actors in there it's quite eerie icon was good because it's a blindfolded ride the big one was good because it's the big one it was pitch black um ghost train to ghost train but don't go for scares because yeah it was just a couple of jump scares here and there a lot of actors about in between walking about wasn't it when you do the walks between the rides and like the official mazes like yeah um, the tunnels and and um, the Chinese puzzle maze, but like the pledge magic trick, that was just the thing they've put on the list. But it's absolutely naff. Like there's no point in being there. Um, so no, overall a really good experience. If you like the rides and you want a unique experience of the rides, then Journey to Hell is 100% for you. If you're going for scares, then I think there are better things out there like Spooky World, etc., Farmageddon, or them type of things which specialise in the scare mazes. What would you say? Would you agree? It wasn't really for scares that no, was no, it. No, yeah, I do agree with you. But I, I, overall, I thought it was the good, you know, I liked it and enjoyed it. And, you know, all the actors and things stayed in character and that. And, you know, the rides were good. It was a good experience. But, like you said, yeah, scares, do something else. Just as an overall nice night out sort of thing. Yeah, do it. Happy days. So that's our review of Journey to Hell. So we've had a long day, uh, full day of the Pleasure Beach, full day of Journey to Hell. You can't complain, there have been no queues, so front row, back row, we straight on, straight off. We have. Right? So I hope you've enjoyed joining us and watching us. Uh, I'm with Danny again for the next video for you. So Danny will be back on the channel and Hope you've enjoyed watching again with my brother Ben. Ben will be back in another video as well at some point for you, I am sure. But until next time, if you've liked it, give us a like. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Ask us any questions, come and get involved in that part. And subscribe as well to the channel. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And we'll see you next time. Ta-da.